Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end of day report for Tuesday, June the 14th, 2016. Looking at the US dollar index ahead of the Brexit vote, you can see that the dollar caught a bid today as it's trying to get back toward par. As you can see, we topped out at par 78. Today, we finished out at 95.03. You can see here that the market is positive pulse waving right here. All right, the market remains well supported at 92.69. It's attempting to get back into the Kumo cloud and hitting up against a major resistance area at this 95.46 area. A successful close above this could help to put the market back up toward the 98 handle and it will hit another resistance at that point at the top of the Kumo cloud and hopefully uh, you know it can continue but as the Fed began its two-day meeting and then we got the Brexit uh, coming up there's a there's a lot that is left to be said we don't know the jury's still out nice channel here not a strong channel but an up channel nonetheless so we'll have to see how this thing plays out uh, for the rest of the week looking now at the S&P 500 this market is beginning to break down starting in to get into the oversold area ahead of the Brexit as you can see the market is well supported at 2054 and three quarters trend line support is at 2021.36 so a lot can happen here if this market goes into a negative pulse wave cycle uh, the 2021 area could hold and, and be a major support and we'll have to wait and see how that goes but as as we see right now we're getting on the third week here of a, of a down uh, cycle market still in the bullish zone as long as it can stay above that 2054 and three quarters uh, we'll have to wait and see but it still has some more downside that it can go before uh, really getting to the oversold area volume starting to pick up too a little bit all right switching our focus now to the Nikkei the Nikkei is breaking down a little bit worse it's already well into the oversold area and the danger zone is that it's about to hit resistance at 15655 if that happens then we're in free fall at this point and this market could begin to lock in in this down cycle resistance on the trend line is way up here at the 17 441 level um, so this one is is not looking as good it's looking like it wants to um, start uh, pulse waving negative it's still in a pulse wave positive situation you can make an argument this is bouncing off the trend line here just t testing this trend line at which point this will be a buying opportunity down in here but the way things are shaping up and with the Brexit coming up uh, again we, we just don't know um, what's going to happen here um, we'll, we'll wait we'll wait and see now on an intraday level uh, you have a situation brewing that could could be interesting at 15895 um, if uh, a, a breakout above that would put an end temporarily to this downdraft that this has been facing at which point this oversold area would play out like it did back in here we got oversold here and then we rallied so we could be looking at another potential scenario like that getting back up to the trend line so this could be rather interesting we'll have to wait and see what develops on it but it could it could be good it could be good for uh, for the bulls here if they can uh, maintain some kind of control at this point and not lose control and have this develop into a full uh, downtrend scenario all right switching our focus to crude oil crude oil is still uh, losing some momentum here very low volume <clears throat> excuse me this is a, a weak sort of a downtrend scenario I think the market is taking a breath and then it's going to try to you know build itself back up again the market is well supported at 4317 and we're still pulse wave positive and even though we're overall technically and they're still in a downtrend scenario we're looking at a potential cross here of the trend line supports and that could uh, that could boost prices up to the 60 mark if that happens 
So this is a developing uh, situation as well. Looking at gold, gold is really trying to make a run at a pulse wave positive here as it's bumping against its trend line resistance at 1295.60. A breakout above that would definitely power this market up to the 1300 mark and then lock in an uptrend instead of just teeter tottering up and down like we've been doing here, up and down. Okay? So this one is also a developing situation, and this could be a, a very powerful scenario for the bulls, as both trend lines are outside of the Kumo cloud on the upside. So this one looks good right now. Okay, looking at silver. Silver is almost completely out, out of the uh, Kumo cloud to the upside, and it's looking to go pulse wave at 1781. So if it can break out above that, then we get to a pulse wave positive cycle here too and then this would put an end to the, the downtrend and start the beginning of a new bull wave cycle which could be very explosive to the upside for this market putting it up to that twenty dollar uh, target that we had initially established for this market alright the famous TVIX pulled back a little bit today uh, still above that three dollar handle though and on an intraday uh, basis, this market is setting itself up to possibly uh, potentially explode higher too. And that would be an intraday breakout above 374. That would put this market on target to power up and get back up to the 4 and $5 handle. And the volume is picking up here too. So this also is a potentially explosive scenario uh, underway as well. This thing starts pulse waving at 370. That's all she wrote. This thing will take off like a rocket ship. Uh, another potential candidate is the SQQQ, which is the inverse ETF for the NASDAQ. This one is an up channel and is potentially explosive at 1931. If prices can get above that, then this could be explosive uh, well into the $25 handle. $22.55 uh, is the uh, interim long term. Um, resistance uh, line here trend line and you got air pocket between there and 25 so this could really uh, ignite explosively here uh, depending on what happens in the uh, in its NASDAQ 100 brother all right looking at Facebook Facebook is coming off now it's in an oversold uh, situation and it's pulse wave positive still uh, from way back here and it's supported at uh, 109.93 prices breaking down below there we'll see the trend line at 103.16 and if that doesn't help we get back down into the trend line breaking par or 100 and we would be in a free fall scenario if we drop below ninety dollars all right looking at apple now apple also is in a sideways situation we're still trading within this uh, price range back in here with that initial breakout or say the Warren Buffett breakout and we're at 97.46 on the close trading below uh, both long and short term period trend line resistance and we're in a negative pulse wave situation resistance is at 104.72 right there at that trend line and this mark is in danger of breaking down below 90 so we'll have to wait and see what happens. The downward momentum is a little off. It's not really strong. Momentum is also a little weak. So it could turn on a dime. But uh, that's just trading. As far as long term, I don't see it. I see the downtrend channel still intact. And it could be ready for another leg down. Looking at Amazon. Amazon topped out at 731.50. So it did continue to explode. It did take out the old resistance here. And it is in a pulse wave positive scenario and well supported at 660.72. All right, looking now at Netflix, uh, we have overhead resistance at 106.18. This market is at 94.12 on the close. Momentum to the downside. Picking up just a little bit here. Um, and it's in jeopardy right now of testing the strong support around this $90 uh, handle. And we'll have to wait and see what happens. We still are in the Kumo cloud, so all price action 
that happens within the Kumo cloud really can't be taken too seriously because it can just whipsaw up in here and do whatever it wants to do but right now downtrend channel is still in full effect from this 133.27 situation all right finally finishing out with uh, Google slash alphabet well supported at 679 just a sideways channel here nothing really happening up or down momentum is flat um, just momentum totally off here just an, not a lot happening even though it's in a positive pulse wave position nothing's happening just moving along sideways along the trend line here and it's above the Kumo cloud so it's just flat there's nothing happening here after that uh, top out of 789.87 which was a spike high by the way didn't close anywhere up near there so this one remains to be seen what's going to happen this is just a long price uh, you know trading range from 663.06 to 789.87 just a huge trading range total sideways nothing happening whatsoever so that's it for today remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered remember to take what you can and give nothing back